Well, good day, everybody. Welcome back to another video. And in the previous videos for the Misfire, we looked at injectors. Now we're actually going to physically start looking at the engine. In this video, we're going to deal with the compression. I took some compression readings about four years ago, and we're going to compare those readings to the readings that we get today. Now, keep in mind, four years ago, we had compression issues in cylinder two and three. The misfire code was in cylinder three. During that time, the last four years, this engine was also supercharged for a period of time, adding more stress to the engine. Let's get set up and see how much has changed. The compression in the Jeep should be between 120 and 150. Four years ago, 130, two and three, 121, 120. Using this Mac Tools compression tester I picked up actually quite some time ago. Um, it's actually worked really well and I think this is the one that I need. Let's see. You get this. Fit into cylinder number six for starters. Pretty simple. I just take this. Plug it in. Like that. And I'm going to set this up somewhere. So I can get my camera on there and film the compression readings. Ideally when I do the compression test I want to have the throttle full open so pedal mash to the floor, crank it over a few times, record my readings. Foot to the floor, crank it over. Jump out, see what our readings are. Oh, that one hit 150. How the hell did that happen? Cylinder five is connected. Let's see what happens. We're looking at 100. That's not good. Not so sure. Not so sure about that. 100 and cylinder number five. Let's just retest that one. Yeah, 100. Behind cylinder number four. One fifty. One fifty. Making sense to me at all. How do we go four years ago from 130 to 150? I can understand number five going from 130 to 100. Those numbers don't make sense. Not making sense to me. All right, number three is the problem, child. Three is the problem. We'll see. Three's coming in at about 140. What the hell, over? Two more to go. This engine is possessed. Oh, what the hell's going on? Yeah, we're looking at but 140. Last one. See what number one will tell us. Number one comes back as 150. Okay, these numbers don't make sense to me at all now. Is after four years, how does compression go up? The only thing that's changed is that the last time I changed oil. I put Marvel Mystery Oil in it. Um, maybe I had some stuck rings. I don't know, it doesn't make sense. Compression tester doesn't lie. You know, you can go back and watch the old video. We can see the numbers that came up. Anyways, the problematic cylinder right now is number five, 100. Even two and three, which tested bad, and the last one is still quite a bit higher. We also know that the cylinder, or the manifold exhaust gasket is blowing out on cylinder number 
four as well. Uh, has nothing to do with number five. Some people may say there could be a valve problem, and there could be. Um, one thing that's gonna tell us the truth is, let's gonna open the garage door here. I'm gonna start it up. And the one thing you're gonna notice is that uh, I have a vacuum gauge installed. There's no fluctuation in the needle. The only thing that I've complained about since I came back from my trip from the Yukon is that the vacuum has dropped. Something happened on my trip to the Yukon and I probably lost about seven inches of vacuum. See how well this thing will start. There we go, fired right up. You can see right there, the vacuum is at about 12. That's not good. The vacuum should be closer to 20. That's a big issue right there. Doesn't fluctuate. You know, if you had a broken spring or something, the needle would be jumping around. See, in just a matter of minutes, the vacuum is going up. Now that the engine is warming up, we we're at like 11. Now we're at like 15. Well, that was interesting. I'm going to leave the video at that. We did the compression test. Some magical reason over the years, compression got better. Except one cylinder got a whole heck of a lot worse. Even tried it twice. Both times, results came back at 100. What is wrong with cylinder number 5? That's what we need to find out. Is it a head gasket issue? Is it piston rings? Is it in the valves? I could have easily dumped oil down the cylinder. But that can also give us a false reading too. You put enough fluid in the cylinder, it doesn't matter if the valves are leaking or, you know, getting past the piston rings. You're gonna, you're gonna have a little bit of a seal there to increase the compression. That's why we need to do the leak down test. Leak down test never lies. Well, I thought the compression test didn't either. Hmm. Anyways, I'm gonna get going. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.